friend and welcome to workout number 12. Uh, I've got another exciting one here today. Gonna be doing some more with the band uh, as we do it with the, the bird dogs. That's gonna be very exciting. Um, first thing we're gonna do is warm up with a, a new stretch to improve thoracic mobility. And a really, it's a great stretch for improving your posture. So what you're gonna do is get on all fours here, okay? Just like we've been doing, all right? You know this position, all right? Nice and comfortable. And you're gonna take one hand, put it behind your head, put it behind your neck here, okay? And really, before we begin, get nice and stable, okay? Make sure that you're, with this bottom hand, you're kind of screwing your arm in the ground, you're gonna feel your lat get engaged, okay? So more, I'm saying that because more weight and more pressure is going over that single arm. So really think about screwing your arm in the ground from your shoulder joint, like you're screwing out, okay? That keeps the shoulder stable, all right? Take this hand, put it behind your head, okay? And what you're gonna do is go down here and then come up as high as you can. Down here, up as high as you can. Down, up. Good, I'm watching you. Up. Exhale as you go up, inhale as you go down. Exhale as you go up, inhale as you go down. Exhale as you go up, inhale as you go down. You will not probably go as far as I'm going. That's okay. Let's go as far as you can go. And remember, you're improving every day. Okay, now other side. I'm going to do it straight ahead so you can kind of see what's what's happening here. Okay, in this position. Good. I'm going to screw the shoulder on the ground throughout the movement. Stay nice and stable. Good. Exhale, really go as far as you can. Open up. Such a good movement to improve that sagging posture that so many of us are stuck in. But not anymore. We're making a difference. We're improving. Little by little, step by step. All right, excellent. Whew, how does that feel? Roll out your shoulders a bit. Be nice and gentle coming out of that position. Okay, so for our workout today, coming back to the band. You should have two bands. So, you know, maybe one for the, the band of bridges that we used, and the other one you can use for the bird dogs. Um, I would say the band of bridges, those, that's the lighter band you would want to use. And what we're going to use today for the bird dogs, you would want to use the heavier resistance band. So red's heavier, yellow is lighter. So what we're gonna do, take the band and we're gonna wrap it around the foot here and tie, okay? A knot and a knot. Generally two is good. Don't need too many more than that. Eh, maybe three, <laughs> just to keep it stable. I had mini bands snap, and don't worry, it's okay, it doesn't hurt. Maybe a little bit, but not too bad. <laughs> okay, so we got the <clears throat> we got that taken care of. And we're gonna do a plank a little bit different today too. So we're gonna do 30 seconds of a plank, but it's gonna be what's called a front leaning rest plank, uh, which is the top of the push-up position. Um, so I'm gonna cue you on how to do that, and I'm gonna show you how to do the, the next progression of the bird dogs. <clears throat> so, with the, uh, before we get started with the plank, I'll, sh I'll show the movements first. You're gonna come up here and right there, okay? Top of a push-up position. Same thing, Le legs are locked straight, squeezing the glutes, really bracing the stomach as hard as you can, feet are together. 
but the difference <clears throat> is getting the shoulders engaged, right? So we don't want the shoulders hiking like this, right? You want to screw your shoulders, screw the hands in the ground. And like I've been mentioning earlier, that gets the lat engaged in this position, right? So screw the hands in the ground, feel the stability, and now we're rocking. Here, not here, right? There's a difference. Okay, so really important. And with the banded bird dogs, what we're gonna do, you're gonna love this. Okay. Right there. Okay. Like that. So what we're gonna do, this is three rounds, we're gonna have balance on each side. We're gonna do the banded ones on the left first, then the banded ones on the right for the second round. And the third round, we will use no band just to keep it even and, and kind of switch back and forth, okay? So we'll get started with that. Okay, my friends, three rounds of tall planks and banded bridges. Let's go. Starting session. Okay, top of a push up position, tall planks. Work. Squeezing the glutes. Legs are locked straight, and most importantly, in this new position that we're learning, screwing your hands in the ground, screwing them out, getting the lats engaged, okay? Nice and stable. And you'll find this is even more challenging than the other one, but you can do this. And remember, if you have to come down, that's okay. If you can only do five seconds, 10 seconds, that's okay. Just spend as much time as you can here. All right, get our bands. Tying it around the feet. Whoop, I'm not moving fast enough. Okay. Work. Hold. 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 Now let's get the arm engaged. Hold. 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 Good. Rest. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Going right back to the tall push-up position. Round two. Good, here we go. Screwing your arms in the ground. Tight butt. Legs are locked straight. Strong, strong. Kind of lean forward over the hands. Not back here, over the hands. Good. Tall, tall, strong, strong. Excellent. Rest. Okay, now doing the right leg. Okay. Work. Opposite arm, opposite leg. With my right hand, I'm just bracing the band here. Nice and smooth and controlled. Uh-huh, you got it. Good. Okay, good. Back to the tall push-up position. Okay. Good. Work. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Hold it, hold it. Locked glutes. Screw your hands in the ground. Engage the lats. Bring your kneecaps up. Legs are locked straight, tight belly. How long can you go? How long can you go? Can you go all the way? Three seconds. Okay. Rest. Remember, no band this time. We're going to go back to the opposite arm, opposite leg, conventional bird dogs. Work. Good. Good. Create length, really stretch and far. Create space between your hands and your feet. Feet are pointing down, 
to the ground, making a fist with your hand. These are foundational exercises that make your entire body more stable and stronger. Okay, wonderful. So again, we're gonna go back to belly breathing. And we're gonna do the one where we, let's put our left hand over our belly, right hand over our heart. Before we begin the belly breathing, let's check in with yourself, feel into your body. And if it feels right to you, just say thank you this body that you were given. This body that has a heartbeat that beats for you, that sends blood and oxygen all throughout your body, that digests food for you, that allows you to walk around, that you can see things through, that you can hear things through, you can touch things, you can smell things. This beautiful body that does all that for you. And it really appreciates when you just take a moment to tune it up, to care for it. In the same way that your car runs better when you give it oil changes and alignment of the tires and checkups, your body really appreciates it when you take care of it. When you give it good food, when you drink good water, when you rest, when you exercise like we're doing here, it appreciates it when you are in community with people. It appreciates it when you are getting sun and walking it loves it when you stand tall. It loves it when you smile. <laughs> so bring the corners of your mouth up and the corners of your eyes up and smile. Inhale through the belly. Exhale. Just breathe into the silence. Get out of the way of your breath and let it do what it wants to do. Let's do one last breath and inhale as much as you can and hold it. Hold, hold, hold. Exhale. And very gently, very calmly and slowly when you're ready, just go ahead and sit up. All right. How about that? And that is workout number 12. So you're doing amazing. Uh, I'm so happy for you. I'm so proud of you for coming to workout number 12 and really showing up for yourself and doing all these exercises. And I'm just really excited for you. Thank you for being a part of this. This is as much of a gift to you as, as it is to me. I mean, I really receive a lot when you do these exercises with me and it makes me feel joyful and happy that I can share this with you. So. Thank you. Um, all right, tomorrow's a rest day, but it means definitely working and walking and moving and taking care of yourself. I will see you in two days for workout number 13. Okay, talk soon.